I have a 1997 Easy Go golf cart that won't get spark. May battery, new solenoid, new coil. Replaced one fuse. What do I do next? Welcome to Just Answer Small Engines, let me try to help you. I don't know at all, but maybe together we can get you a satisfactory answer. What engine is this, single cylinder or twin? Twin. The engine has a pulsar coil next to the flywheel, an igniter in the coil. Check for a pulse from the pulsar coil using a volt slash ohm meter to see if it is pulsing. If it is, then the igniter would be suspect, as you have already replaced the coil. See the diagram below. If you do have spark, and it will not start, this is a timing belt engine and the timing could be off. It ran fine then my dad power washed in the engine compartment now no spark. I'll check and see. Okay. Is there any fuses under the floor mat that should be checked? No, if it has a fuse, it will be in the box with the battery and solenoid. And it would only affect the start function, not the spark. What do I put the meter on to test it? My igniter isn't by the coil, it's by the solenoid. Anyway, I can send you a picture. Above the typing box will be an attaching icon, it may be a paper clip or a tree icon, you can use that to attach picture. Engine is spinning, just no spark at the plug. Have to jump starter to make it turn over. It's not turning over from key. To jump solenoid, you jump from the battery cable terminal to the switch terminal, which is one of the small terminals on the same solenoid. No, it's not. When I just tried that it clicked really fast. I tried jumping from solenoid to igniter and now I can't make it turn over from battery to starter. Fast clicking at the solenoid assigned battery is dead or cables are loose. Low voltage to the solenoid. I have a charger on the battery but you'll try another battery. Okay battery might be the whole problem. This doesn't charge me every time I message you does it? No, it is a one-time charge. Sorry if I'm making this difficult for you. No problem, I come off as a grumpy old man, but I'm not. Lol. Call and get the battery and let me know how it turns out. Thanks. Got a good battery and nothing. I jumped the igniter to the solenoid trying to pass what I think is the pulsar. Will engine spin now with key or by jumping the solenoid? No. Solenoid clicking? Can you turn the engine by hand? Engine is not locked. If we can't get engine to spin, you will have no spark. I had it cranking by going from the battery to the starter. Then I jumped the solenoid to the igniter and now I can't get anything. Do you have battery voltage to the key switch? Is the 7 amp fuse good? 6.63 when I push the pedal and it goes to 6.63. Do you see anything wrong with that? Battery voltage on new battery should be over 12.5 volts. What does battery read? 12.79. And you only have 6 volts at the key switch? Trace wire back to the source may not be coming through the fuse holder. I have 12.7 ish at solenoid also. Nothing in between the two little posts. 
you have to have 12 volts to the key switch, as it then has to send 12 volts to the small terminals on the solenoid. I don't see anything wrong. Can't get anything past solenoid. Solenoid has to be closed by the key switch. Key switch can't because it has low voltage. The 12 volts has to come through the fuse holder to the key switch. Get 12 volts to the key switch and the solenoid will work. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.